All right. So Nothing has now released a new update for the phone one in the form of this Nothing OS 1.5.3, which is now based on Android 13. So I updated my device instantly to let you guys know if you should install this or not and if there are any major issues or whatever. So watch this video till the end to know each and every detail before you update your device. This update is now rolling out to everyone and before we get into the tiny details, make sure to tap on that subscribe button if you haven't already. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. The update has version number 1.5.3 and weighs almost 92 MB in size. It has a bunch of changes as per the changelog and you can just check for this update in system updates and install this, as simple as that. Now let's start off with the benchmark scores. So on Geekbench, the device uses score 8112 in single core and 2918 in the multi-core score. Now it scores 812 in single core and 2906 in the multi-core score. On the Android 2, the device you score 5,60,000 points and now it scores same, 5,60,000 points only. So no change here and these scores are only for your reference and don't mean that much in the real world usage. Coming back to the new features and there are a few add-ons here. First up, we have even more wallpapers in the stock app, which is something I even asked for in the first place and it's nice to see them here. Thanks nothing for something good. Also you can now manually add games to the gaming mode in case they were not detected before. And you can find this option in game mode under the system settings. So this will also make your life a little easier I guess. The update also comes with the FIP23 security patch which is not the latest one but it's fine and it's good to see it here. They've also added support for the nothing year 2 which are coming by the end of this month. So let's see how they'll sound. And if you want me to review them, then do drop a comment just below the like button. Other than that, they have also mentioned smoother animation for pop-up windows. And I think they were fine before too. I don't see a major change here, but the Bluetooth window however takes a bit more time to open. Nothing has also mentioned a new memory management algorithm, which as per them improves the app reopening time by 35%. All of this should basically improve the battery life. And lastly, they have mentioned improved system stability and better transition between lock screen and AOD, which I think was good enough from the start. If I talk about the battery life in the initial few hours, it seems a bit improved, but I'll have to test it out even more once it adapts to my usage. So stay tuned for the full review and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The charging time is same as before, that is around 70 minutes with the 33W charger. In the camera app, nothing much has changed with the UI, and everything looks as is with the image quality too. There are certain bug fixes with this update, like with the glyph lights and they used to stop working randomly with WhatsApp calls. So that has been fixed along with things like no data in the weather widget, issues with the nightlight mode, YouTube video playback, among other stuff. Also, you can now uninstall the Nothing X app, something I again asked for in the last update. So thanks to them. So these are all the changes that you get with the Nothing OS 1.5.3 update on the phone one. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and that bell icon if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.